survive a near fatal fall. 33 year old Thomas Kelly, who's from a family of firefighters, was critically injured in a fall battling a fire overnight. Reporter Kate, Kate Hutchins has that story. June 28, 1984. This is firefighter Thomas Kelly receiving a Medal of Merit in 1987 for saving a woman's life three years earlier. At about one o'clock this morning, it was Kelly firefighters frantically tried to rescue after he fell off the roof of a burning building on Chapel Street, dropping 25 feet into an air shaft. Some of these firefighters were on that roof when they heard Kelly scream. It's an empty feeling, emptiest feeling you want to feel. We were frantic on the top of the roof trying to to get to him. Kelly was rushed to St. Raphael's Hospital where he's in critical condition suffering from head injuries. Kelly has worked at the Dixwell station for the last 13 years ever since he became a firefighter. Early this morning he was working on truck four up there controlling the back of the truck. He's the best. I mean he lays it on the line for everybody and everything. He never complains and uh, he knows his job and he does it well. While firefighters struggled to rescue Kelly this morning, some of their co-workers were trying to put out another fire in the Hill neighborhood. As soon as they were free, they went to Chapel Street to help. Cutbacks didn't force Tommy to step the wrong way last night, but when we did need help, um, the next truck company that came had three guys when it could have had four or five. Uh, our company could have had more men. While staff cuts have been a sore subject in New Haven, Firefighters say their main concern tonight is Kelly's recovery. In New Haven, Kate Hutchins, WTIC News at 10. Well, some big business. As some rush hour commuters on a Meriden Highway. Good evening. Those stories are topping action news tonight. 33-year-old Thomas Kelly remains in critical condition at this hour at the Hospital of St. Raphael tonight. Uh, Kelly fell today from the roof of a burning building. He suffered severe head injuries while he was fighting a blaze. Tonight, Action News reporter Carla Wolf spoke with some of his friends who were there when the terrible accident happened. There's a vigil going on at Truck Company 4. The firefighters are waiting for a call, not about a fire, but about a firefighter, about 33-year-old Tommy Kelly. We're kind of in shock right now. Kelly is the tiller man for Truck Company 4. That means he sits up here and steers the rear of the truck. When the call came in early this morning for a fire on Chapel Street, he was in position, ready to go. He's always the first one up to the roof and the last one to leave. But at one this morning, this roof over Cellini's jewelry store was blanketed in smoke. Smoke so thick, firefighters say they couldn't see, even with a flashlight. He must wandered over to the, the air shaft and, uh, and fell. And we, we heard uh, Tommy go down. Down two and a half stories, 25 feet. When I was finally able to see him, uh, I thought he was he hurt bad, and I was just praying that we could get to him before the situation got any worse. Tonight they are still praying, and so is Kelly's immediate family. Both his father and uncle are retired firefighters. The family is known for heroics. All have been honored. Kelly received the department's third highest award for risking his life to save an unconscious woman from a burning building. He's a fighter, friends say, and this is his toughest battle of all. In New Haven, I'm Carla Wohl, Action News 8. A lot of people pulling for that man tonight. Kelly had been a firefighter at Truck Company 4 for 13 years. Our Thomas Kelly remains in critical condition at the Hospital of St. Raphael in New Haven. Tonight, Kate Hutchins has more on the firefighters who are ready and willing to put their lives on the line at a moment's notice. New Haven firefighters are on their way out of the Yale School of Medicine this afternoon after taking care of an elevator control panel that malfunctioned. They say they spend 90% of their time responding to minor alarms like this one. It's the other 10% they have to be ready for all the time. You always have to plan for the worst. When you turn a corner and you see flames blowing out the home, you're already, you're already visualizing what you have to do for that, for that situation. Firefighters faced one of those situations yesterday morning at 1142 Chapel Street when one of their own, Thomas Kelly, was critically injured after slipping off the roof and falling 25 feet. Lieutenant Edward Hood knows what getting injured on the job is all about. He slid down a cliff while fighting a brush fire at West Rock Mountain last April. He's been off the job ever since. 
it's it's an unfortunate part of the job, but uh, these things do happen. And we try to accept them the best way that we can. Last year in New Haven, 213 firefighters were injured on the job, up slightly from 1990. Firefighters say most people only hear about the serious injuries they suffer. Everyone that's standing here has had time off on injury. Some, uh, some short-term injury, some long-term, some guys a year. How long were we off for? Eight months. Eight months. These firefighters are just glad they're healthy enough to talk about the close calls. They hope Kelly will be able to do the same someday. In New Haven, Kate Hutchins, WTIC, News at 10. Still much more ahead tonight on the News at 10, including word of a wide-ranging... The roof of a burning building early yesterday. Doctors at the Hospital of St. Raphael say Kelly is stabilized but is still critical. Kelly, described as a gutsy firefighter, received a Medal of Merit for crawling through a burning home back in 1984 to rescue an unconscious woman. The Masser family and friends of Kelly will be held at 10 a.m. Saturday morning at St. Francis Church in the Fairhaven section of New Haven. There's more to come here. Have building code violations. Among them, improperly strung extension cords and a fire escape that it was held together only by wire. Officials say there was also evidence of illegal construction work inside, about which the owner, Louis DeSimone, had been given a written warning back in 1989. DeSimone's son told us his father wasn't available for comment. I just want to ask him about the uh, violations. Uh, I don't think he has any comments about those. I don't know what violations they're talking about. The injured firefighter Tom Kelly here fell 25 feet from the roof of that building, suffering severe head injuries, and tonight is still in the hospital struggling for survival. A prayer service is scheduled for Tommy Kelly tomorrow morning at 10 at St. Francis Church in the Fairhaven section of New Haven. I like firefighter. Good evening, everyone. Topping tonight's news, the critical need for rental assistance hits home. A little late edition at 11 o'clock. Action News reporter Linda Schmidt talks to one New Haven family about its struggle to find a place to live. Well, another sign of the times, a record number of people are seeking government help in buying food. According to the Agriculture Department, Miss Kelly. St. Francis Catholic Church in Fairhaven held a special mass to pray for his recovery. Kelly was critically injured Wednesday while battling a fire on Chapel Street. I've been sort of trying to keep my eyes dry all morning. Uh, I just couldn't believe that that many people were going to show up. I'm glad to see my brother firefighters and. I imagine a lot of people from the Fairhaven area where Tommy grew up are here. And there's people who are from everywhere here. I, I just couldn't believe it. I guess everyone is concerned about it. And it uh, we all have strong, good feelings. It's a moving tribute not only to Tom as a human being, but as a firefighter. It tells you how people value people that put their lives on the line every single day for us. Now, New Haven building inspectors have since found serious code violations in that building where Kelly was fighting the fire. No word yet on whether charges will be filed against the owner. A violent... Tommy Kelly, who is continuing his fight for life tonight, his condition still critical, unchanged from last week. You know, he was injured on Wednesday when he fell two stories trying to put out a blaze on Chapel Street. Hundreds of people joined Kelly's family at church last Saturday to pray for the courageous firefighter. And Kelly's family wants us to pass along to you the, their thanks for the outpouring of love and support that was shown at that Mass. And another show of support may come in the New Haven St. Patrick's Day Parade coming up. Kelly had marched in it every year, and this year Kelly's fellow firefighters are planning to march in a tribute to their friend. The president of the Firefighters Union today blasted fire commissioners for permitting a city consultant's plan to remain in place. The plan eliminated 40 firemen from the department last year. They say last week's blaze on Chapel Street where fireman Tommy Kelly was critically injured was an accident waiting to happen. Because of cutbacks, an engine that shouldn't have been at Chapel Street fire was at another blaze on Greenwich Avenue. Still another was off duty. You cannot work under these conditions. Somebody's going to get killed. They saved approximately $800 that night by taking TAC-2 off duty. I hope $800 is worth it to this city. Fire Commissioner Milton Lurie says the department needs at least 30 additional firefighters. Commissioners plan to meet with Mayor John Daniels and the City Board of Finance later this month to discuss the issue. However, the mayor's office today said the fire department is already properly staffed.
helping rescue Kelly. It's a lot of strain on your body. You know, it's a lot of stress and strain. And, uh, you know, you'd somehow you, you find it and you do it, especially when you find out, you know, one of your fellow colleagues are down. It upsets me to know that a fireman has to get hurt or a civilian would have to get hurt um, for people to start listening. Mayor John Daniels wasn't available today, but his office is standing by the staff cuts in the Swersey plan. Well, I'll only respond in terms of uh, the allegation that the department is understaffed. It's not. I, I have to disagree with that. The department at this point is understaffed. Fire Commissioner Milton Lurie says commissioners will investigate whether there's a direct correlation between the manpower shortage and Kelly's accident. But he says one thing is certain. The city needs at least 30 more firefighters. Linda Schmidt, Action News 8, New Haven.